I did. I have this amazing book for you guys. Okay, let's do this. To the Bridge, The Journey of Lenny and Ginger Mick by Corinne Phantom, illustrated by Andrew McLean. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, let's see. Let's read the messages. For three special women, Briar Fairy, Lenny's little sister, who shared her childhood with me, Julie Oliveri, who first told me the story, and Marianne Ballantyne, who believed in this book from the start. Aww. To the memory of my brother, friend, and mentor, John McLean, 20 June 1929 to 3rd March 2019 a.m. Let's this, guys. Let's do this. To the bridge, the journey of Lenny and Ginger Mick. On Lenny's second birthday, his grandfather gave him a pony. Ginger Mick had been born on the very same day as Lenny. How about that, guys? This is Lenny and that's his birthday. And then well, Grandpa Pop Pops gave him a pony named Ginger. And Ginger was born same day. Okay, let's do this, guys, to the bridge. Ready? Okay. Each day, bundles of newspapers were tossed from the steam train as it passed Keither's sighting. Lenny was always there with Ginger Mick, first to read the news of Australia's biggest bridge. Now, guys, there's been news of Australia's biggest bridge. And, well, I'm so Lenny is very, very excited, and I'm very, very excited too. As you can see, he's been watching news after news about this enormous, gigantic bridge. Now, he wanted to know everything about it. How the giant arches were designed, how they clung to the pylons, and how the bridge would carry trucks, trains, all kinds of transport, and how it would stand strong into the future. Now guys, this is the time where the Sydney Bridge, Sydney Bridge was about to, about to, about to, well, about to stand, about to stand, and look at the newspaper. And well, Lenny and Ginger are very, very excited to see the newspaper. One winter's afternoon, Lenny's dad fell while plugging the paddocks. He broke his leg badly, which meant he would be away for months in a Melbourne hospital. Each Early each morning, Lenny fed the chickens, chopped fire and milked the cows. Now guys, one poor day, Lenny's dad fell. Lenny's dad fell and well, he had to stay a few months in a Melbourne hospital. But then again, Lenny is such a sweet little boy. Now he's helping and doing all his shows, helping his mama. Then he harnessed the horses and plowed the chocolate soil. Look at that. Growing up, Lenny, doing everything. Well, doing everything. Taking on responsibility, making his dad proud. Each night, Lenny fell into a deep, bone-weary dream. Now, guys, look at this. That's Lenny's room, and that's Lenny after a hard day of work, hard day of helping his mama. Well, his dream well, his, looks like a cricket. His dream is to play cricket, ride horse, and that. And that, guys, that. Maybe he wants to see the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Now, that's his dream. When Lenny's dad came home, he could see that Lenny had done the work of a man. I'm proud of you, Lenny. So proud. I think you deserve a reward. Now Lenny fidgeted for a moment. Could he ask? Lenny took a deep breath. Um, uh, I'd like to see the opening of the uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge. Well, perhaps we can find money for the train. Uh, I'd like to ride Ginger, Dad. Ginger, make Dad. Now Lenny's dad scratched his chin, a sure sign he was making an important decision. All the way to Sydney? That's a tall order, but if you manage the farm, I have no doubt you can do this. Now, guys, now, guys. Well, I think his dream is coming true because his dad agrees. He is such a responsible person. 
that he can handle going all the way to Sydney with his friend Ginger Mick. Now, can he do that? Can he ride all the way to Sydney to see the Sydney Harbour Bridge? Let's see happens. Lenny knew that if he travelled 20 miles a day, he would make it on time and it wouldn't be too much for Ginger Mick. And so on 3rd February 1932, when Lenny and Ginger Mick were nine years old, they set off along the winding road out of Leongata, Leongata to ride 600 miles to Sydney. Now guys, being Lenny, he did all his calculations, he did all his map, he had his map ready and everybody's so proud of him. Whole village is so proud of him. In 1932, 3rd February 1932, off he goes. Off he goes to ride 600 miles to Sydney. Look at that. Look at that. All went as planned till the third day out. By midday, the skies were dark and smoke hung thick and heavy. Bush pyres were sweeping into nearby mining settlements, while well, mining settlements and forests. Falling ash blocked their nostrils and stung their eyes. The ponies stopped and nickered. Come on, Ginger, Lenny whispered. No, guys, no, guys, the road's a bit tough because, because there's been a bushfire and their eyes hurt. Well, Ginger's eye hurt and there's well, the nose to blocking their nostrils. And it's been a hard day for them. And well, they are trying to go through. Come on, Ginger, come on. Lenny saw flames racing along the ridge. He could hear the roaring of her fire. What should he do? Lenny's heart was pounding and he knew Ginger's was too. But the trust they shared allowed Lenny to urge him on. Now guys, there he goes leading them on, leading Ginger on, giving all that motivation. Look at that dreadful bushfire. It is a very, 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 very dangerous journey and he is so brave. He is so brave. Somehow they made it to a small township of Kilmeny, worn out but safe. They travelled on, winding north to the border of Victoria and New South Wales and into the rugged, snowy mountains. Some days were hard and long, but always Lenny's dream was stronger than the challenge, as stronger as Ginger's heart. Look at that, two best friends, guys, going on a journey. Well, they are worn out but safe, and now they reach the border of Victoria and New South Wales. As you can see, and they are going, going on a journey. A very, very dangerous, but they are very determined and they're going on a journey. Two best friends, guys. Look at that. The journey is very, very hard. There's rain, there's forest, there's bushfires. There is all sorts of events happening, but they are very strong and they are very determined and they have each other. They have each other. As the days passed, they met other travelers and Swaggy's searching for work. You're the boy everybody's, everyone's talking about, one said. That wasn't important to Lenny. He only wanted to see the bridge. The school children asked Lenny questions and fed Ginger Mick little treats. Now guys, he's been popular. Everybody's talking about him. This is the guy who is so determined, who is so dedicated. And he's been, he's been wondering, he's been just going on a journey to Sydney with his best friend and everybody's talking about it and look at that they are they are collecting hearts in Canberra Lenny shook the hand of Prince Prime Minister Joseph Lyons all along the families offered them food and shelter and in some towns Lenny stayed for free in posh hotels. Now guys, Lenny, everybody's learning about L L Lenny and his determination and he is even, even meeting amazing people. Amazing people was giving him food, shelter, hugs. That's amazing. They are amazing. What a kindness. They are receiving kindness all over. But Lenny was happiest when they were by themselves and he could imagine what it'd be, what it'd be like to reach the bridge. Now guys, they're, tr they're going to reach the bridge very, very soon, very, very soon. 
33 days after leaving Leon Kata, Lenny rode Ginger Mick down George Street in Sydney. Now guys, they are in Sydney, George Street, as you can see, and their journey is coming, is about to come to an end. Ta -da -da! There it was! There was the incredible bridge reaching across the harbour. Lenny knew it had been worth it every mile and every one of Ginger's footsteps. Look at that. Two best friends' journey came to an end when they see, when they saw the bridge, when they saw the bridge, and that's it. That's it. My dream came true. This is it. This is amazing. It was totally worth it. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my God, that's been one of the most incredible moments for both of them. Look at that, guys. They did it. They did it. And there it is. That's one of the most beautiful, iconic structure all over the world. And that's Lenny and Ginger watching it, admiring it, living their dreams, guys. Living their dreams. That's so amazing. That is so amazing. Now, Lenny's grandfather met him on his way back home to the farm. Now, guys, he's going back home. He fulfilled his dream. He did it. Now, he's going back home. And that's Lenny, guys, as you can see. And that's Ginger. To Tuesday, 18th of April, 1922, Lenny Gother came into the world at Flair's farm near Leon Gatha. Close by, a little fall was burned. The Sydney Harbour Bridge took almost nine years to build and employed 1,654 workers at a time when Australia was in the grip of the Great Depression. The bridge gave its builders work, a purpose and involvement in the constructions of Australia's most important and iconic structure. Saturday, 19th March 1932, a boy and his pony crossed Australia's Sydney Harbour Bridge and marched into history. Guys, he made history. That's Lenny and then the, and that's Ginger. That is so amazing and look at that. They're heading back home, fulfilling the dream and they're heading back home. Come on, Ginger, let's go home. They did it. Let's go home and celebrate. And they're going back home. To the bridge, the journey of Lenny and Ginger made by Corinne Fenton and Andrew McLean.